engine and run it at 1500 RPM for about 30 seconds. The vacuum gauge will begin showing a reading when the pump begins operating at full capacity. If no reading or a minimal reading develops, the lift pump is faulty. If the reading is above 3.75 inches of mercury, check for a restriction in the fuel supply. As mentioned earlier, malfunctioning air intake heaters can cause hard starting in cold weather. The simplest way to check the air intake heaters is by using the scan tool and the diagnostic procedures manual. A malfunctioning fuel heater can cause a no start or hard start condition in cold weather. It can also restrict RPM as well as cause blue or white smoke in the exhaust. To check the heater, first check for supply voltage and ground. The dark blue wire should supply voltage to the heater whenever the ignition is on. The black wire with a tan tracer should indicate a good ground. The fuel heater itself should have a resistance of 2.5 to 3 ohms when checked with an ohm meter. If the cold start or KSB solenoid on the fuel injection pump malfunctions, the engine may be hard to start and may produce white or blue exhaust smoke when cold. When checking the cold start valve, it's important to remember that on some trucks, a 3 ohm resistor drops voltage to 10 volts at the solenoid. So when checking the solenoid, apply no more than 10 volts to the solenoid feed wire you may be able to hear the solenoid click when voltage is applied. If not, you'll need to remove the solenoid to verify operation. Injectors that are delivering too much or not enough fuel can cause a variety of symptoms. Misfire, low power, or black exhaust. An easy way to check for a malfunctioning injector involves the use of a digital thermometer. To do this check, Place the thermometer probe against each individual exhaust runner. The runner that is significantly cooler than the others indicates the cylinder and possibly the injector that is malfunctioning. In troubleshooting a diesel fuel injection system, keep in mind that some sensors and components have quite different purposes than their gasoline engine counterparts and may not affect fuel delivery at all. For instance, on trucks equipped with automatic transmissions, the throttle position sensor is used by the powertrain control module as one of the inputs for deciding shifts into and out of overdrive. It is not connected with fuel delivery. The same is true of the coolant temperature sensor. Fortunately, these and other sensors associated with overdrive shifts, charging system output, and speed control are diagnosable with the scan tool. By the way, if your diagnosis does lead to replacing components, pay particular attention to the cautions in the service manual procedures. They can save you a lot of unnecessary trouble. Now let's try a final review question. Which of the following components should be supplied with no more than 10 volts during testing? Fuel solenoid, intake heater relay, or cold start solenoid? The answer is the cold start solenoid in the fuel injection pump. On some pumps, a 3 ohm resistor in the circuit drops voltage to 10 volts. And that brings us to the end of Master Tech Release number 6. For related training center courses on diesel engines, see your technical training course selection guide. And be sure to watch for Master Tech Release number 9, which will discuss the all-new Dodge Ram pickup.